Hey everyone, uh, Dr. Mungli here. So today's question is a little bit on uh, structure based question. So as you know, some of the structures are important in uh, biochemistry. So I thought of uh, doing some structure based questions here. So although this is not my style, so I do uh, clinically correlated uh, biochemistry questions. Anyway, so the question is purine ring can be synthesized from amphibolic intermediates by a series of reactions in de novo by a pathway. Carbon 8 of purine ring is obtained by which one of the following? So the purine ring has got 9 atoms and de novo biosynthesis of purine ring involves getting individual atoms from each amphibolic intermediates and building a molecule that is a 9 atom purine ring. So the question is specifically asking which donor is contributing to carbon 8 in a purine ring. So all the choices that you are seeing here from A to E they are all one carbon metabolic derivatives of tetrahydrofolate. As you can see all of the molecules that are given here they are all tetrahydrofolate derivatives. We, we have N10 formyl tetrahydrofolate, N5 N10 methyl tetrahydrofolate, N5 N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate, N5 N10 methanyl tetrahydrofolate and N5 formyl tetrahydrofolate. Now the question is which out of all these tetrahydrofolate derivatives will give rise to carbon 8 of a purine ring. Now the answer for this question is it there are confusion here see one of the a few of the textbooks will give option A that is N10 formyl tetrahydrofolate as an answer and few of the textbooks will mention N5 N10 methanyl tetrahydrofolate as the donor of carbon 8. Now the confusion here is some of the good textbooks are referring to different donor so some of them are giving N10 formyl tetrahydrofolate like um, Davlin's textbook, Leninger textbook is giving N10 formyl tetrahydrofolate as the donor of carbonate. Some of the uh, uh, references that I have referred in uh, PubMed or Medline indexed uh, articles, research articles, they are also referring to N10 formyl tetrahydrofolate as a carbonate donor and carbon 2 donor in a purine ring. Textbook like Harper mentions N5 N10 methanyl tetrahydrofolate as a carbonate donor. So going with the majority and going with the reference books, so most of the reference reference books in biochemistry and also the research articles, they all favor N10 formyl tetrahydrofolate as a donor of carbon 8 and carbon 2 in a purine ring. So going with that, so I'll be uh, going with option A that is N10 formyl tetrahydrofolate as the answer for carbon 8 donor in purine ring. Let's a uh, little bit uh, look into the purine. This is the purine ring. So purine ring has got 9 atoms and the number of uh, numbering is done in an anti-clockwise manner. That is this is a nitrogen 1 here then carbon 2, car nitrogen 3, carbon 4, carbon 5, ni carbon 6, nitrogen 7 carbon 8 and nitrogen 9. Now the nitrogen 1 is given by aspartate. Now the carbon 2 and carbon 8 carbon 2 and carbon 8 given by N10 formyl tetrahydrofolate. Now carbon number sorry nitrogen number 3 carbon 4 uh, sorry nitrogen number 3 is given by glutamate amide nitrogen of glutamate and also nitrogen 9 is given by amide nitrogen of glutamate whereas carbon 4 carbon 5 and nitrogen 7 this entire thing three atoms present in a purine ring it will be given by glycine entire molecule of glycine is used to make a purine ring and lastly carbon 6 is given by carbon dioxide like this nine atoms in that nitrogen 1 is given by aspartate, carbon 2 is given by N10 formyl tetrahydrofolate, nitrogen 3 is given by glutamine, carbon 4, carbon 5, nitrogen 7 given by glycine, carbon 6 is given by carbon dioxide, 
carbon 8 is given by n10 formyl tetrahydrofolate and nitrogen 9 is given by glutamine now two enzymes that are most important to be remembered here in purine de novo biosynthesis of purines and that is PRPP synthase which will make PRPP and that PRPP will act as a positive modulator on a rate limiting and regulated enzyme of purine biosynthesis and the enzyme name is PRPP glutamyl amido transferase PRPP glutamyl amido transferase is also called as glutamine phosphoribosyl amido transferase these are the two enzymes which are regulated uh, most regulated one is PRPP glutamyl amido transferase PRPP synthase is a regulated enzyme and two more enzymes down the line that is IMP dehydrogenase and adenylosuccinate synthetase are also regulated enzyme so I'll be going over regulation and uh, biosynthesis of purine ring in some other video that I'll be making down the line let me take you to pyrimidine ring here so I have written an overall pyrimidine ring so it has got uh, nitrogen 1 and this uh, nitrogen 1 uh, so it has got 6 atoms pyrimidine ring it has nitrogen 1, carbon 2, nitrogen 3, carbon 4, si carbon 5 and carbon 6 note that carbon 4, carbon 5, carbon 6 and nitrogen 1 all this is derived from aspartate almost entire aspartate is used to make a pyrimidine ring except carboxyl group of aspartate now the carbon 2 of pyrimidine ring is given by carbon dioxide nitrogen 3 is given by glutamine so out of six atoms four atoms are donated by aspartate one is given carbon 2 is given by carbon dioxide nitrogen 3 is given by glutamine now the two important enzymes that are involved in pyrimidine biosynthesis is carbamyl phosphate synthetase 2 which is a regulated enzyme for pyrimidine biosynthesis and aspartate transcarbamylase which is also sometimes we abbreviated as ATC aspartate transcarbamylase this is a rate determining enzyme for pyrimidine biosynthesis majority of the pathways the rate limiting enzyme is the regulated enzyme but this is different here where the regulated enzyme is separate from rate determining enzyme regulated enzyme of pyrimidine biosynthesis is carbamyl phosphate synthetase 2 whereas rate determining enzyme for pyrimidine biosynthesis is aspartate transcarbamylase i'll make a separate video on pyrimidine biosynthesis so you can watch that video later on down the line so this is all about the structure of purine and structure of pyrimidine and the amphibolic intermediates that are giving each atoms present in purine and pyrimidine ring i hope this video helped you to know the amphibolic intermediates for each atoms present in purine and pyrimidine ring if you like the video so please give a thumbs up and for further updates and for other metabolic pathways that will be that i will be updating so kindly consider subscribing to my channel have a good day everyone